This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in the matchroom bubble here for Chisora Parker. But in bigger news, the return, I don't know, we'll talk about it if you're still the madman in yeah, yeah. a bit, but Scott Fitzgerald, absolutely delighted that you're back in boxing and people like me can interview people like you. Yeah, no, How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Uh, it's good to be uh, finally back in a, in a fight week and uh, looking forward to getting in there Saturday and getting the job done now. You spoke about this in the press conference. It's been 18 months yeah. since two very, very good wins you had yeah, in 2019, yeah. which is kind of sad to kind of see what's happened since then. But we, we don't know everything that's happened no. since then and we don't expect you to kind of go into everything. But could you give us a little bit of a summary of how things have been for you since then up until now, mate? Yeah, um... So, uh, obviously, October 2019, I won the British title, which was great. And uh, after that, you know, I just uh, I went a bit airwall and just never uh, got back in the gym, really. And, uh, and then when I did come to get back in the gym, all COVID kicked off. So I just kept saying, oh, I'll get back on it after COVID. And uh, my dad kept saying, that could last the rest of the year. And I'm like, no, nah, I won't, you know. I'll just chill until COVID's done and... Uh, I'll get back to it, but you know, it did end up lasting a year. But um, you know, uh, I ended up uh, getting me head together last year, and uh, I've been in the gym solid from the start of this year. Now, I did go a bit heavy, but uh, I've been dragging that down now, and uh, I'm in a good place now, and uh, just want to get you know back in there and uh, get back on track with my career. Would you say, Scott, that in that 18-month period that your head wasn't in a good place? Yeah, uh, definitely not. Although um, I thought it was. I felt like it was, you know, like... Uh, I would go in, like, um, uh, the mental uh, uh, hospital and that in Preston and, uh, you know, they put me on, uh, like, antipsychotics and stuff. But I, everyone I would see would be like, you know... Now looking back, I know it were people who cared for me, cared about me, and that they'd be like, "Are you all right? Are you all right?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I've never felt as good in my life." But that's how I did. That's how I felt. But I just, I uh, like was in a manic, manic condition. And uh, when you're in that, when I'm in that state, I just you have no worries. Even though I was spiraling out of control in my head, I had nothing to worry about. It was just a nice place to be. But you know, finally I came down and uh, realised, you know, um, I'd been away for a bit and then um, I come back into Preston and uh, I, I walk him round the uh, city centre and about six people uh, I saw and they went like, oh, um, oh, you're looking a lot better now anyway, good to see you looking a lot better. And I thought, oh, I must have been mad then, you know, people, I must have been off my head then because, uh, you know, I didn't believe it at first, but I thought... All these people see me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You right, don't you? You right. Fucking hell. You believe this shit? Are you serious? Yeah, man. Opening up. Opening up. Oh, what's up with you, man? Don't you but, like? Don't you like boxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Huh? Love it, yeah. Back don't, to you, it. Don't, 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 don't you like boxing? Yeah, I love it. So what do you do this for? I don't know, man. That's what I'm just on about, but yeah. not again. Not yeah. again. I'm on it now. He's all in the past now. Anyway, he's back. But he's a good fighter, though. You know, he's a very good fighter. How about you just let yourself? Don't let you just listen. Uh, just do yeah. it, man. If yeah, I'm enjoy. gonna do it. I'm yeah. back in now. Uh, give it uh, everything till rest, end of my career now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Party spoiler. Yeah, if anyone was going to interrupt that, we'll allow Derek Cesaro <laughs> for that because that conversation was going deep. I'm not going to tell him off. <laughs> um, Scott, by the sounds of it, from what you were saying, obviously before that, that there was periods in that 18 months that yeah, you don't remember. Yeah, I wasn't with it. Yeah, yeah, that's 100% spot on. Yeah, there's a big chunk months of it of my life where I've got no real memory of it you know and uh, uh, you know it wasn't it wasn't going my life wasn't going very well it wasn't I wasn't going in the right direction but you know I've, I've turned it around and uh, I'm just focused on the job now and uh, getting back where I need to be 
Scott, what's different now, today, right? You're two days away from making your return to the ring. What can you say that's different now to how many months ago or a year and a half ago, whenever those kind of really negative and dark points were in your life, what's different now that's made you think, right, that's it, I need to return to what I, I do very well? Yeah, and um, well, um, the things that I were doing, I didn't really understand how um, bad some of the things I were doing were for me. And uh, I just thought uh, it was all fun and games and I could get away with it, no matter how many people or who, how important the people were who were trying to tell me. I just thought I couldn't be affected. And uh, and uh, like I just said there, having uh, my head you know, blowing up and not being able to remember months of my life and that has made me realise some it was some was really gone there and uh, not right so uh, I know what um, I have to avoid the things I have to avoid uh, doing to make sure I don't end up in that that, that sort of hole again it, it, This is not specific to you but in general we kind of see clips we see interviews we see you fight in the ring but from the outside public we don't see what goes on behind closed doors it's an old cliche saying but it's the truth we don't we heard kind of rumours and whispers about, yeah. <coughs> sorry, your situation, but we don't know everything. So I suppose yeah, yeah. you're kind of almost amongst your friends and, and family battling by yourself because, yeah, yeah. you know, and we get snippets of that. So, yeah, yeah. but ultimately the fact that you're, like I said, two days away from making your return to the ring yeah, yeah. is a positive start, definitely. Yeah, it's really, a, like I say, yeah, great uh, because there was periods of time in the last year, 18 months, where I thought maybe I wouldn't box again, and uh, uh, I'm like, it's just really a great feeling to be back here now, and like you say, two days away from making my return, and uh, more, more clued up, more clued up on uh, what to do with my life and that now as well. So feeling better. Once you're back, we know obviously this is your return fight with the guy that labelled himself the crazy man. That was a right random thing in the press conference today. <laughs> labelled himself uh, the crazy man, but. We know kind of that division that you was in 2019 has only been enhanced now, and there's yeah, yeah. The, st the names you were being linked with back then are still relevant now, etc. And you know, the Anthony Fowler rematch was something that gets talked about ever since then. Yeah, you know, yeah. you won the fight convincingly, but yeah. it's a rematch that boxing fans wanted to see. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people want to see that fight, and uh, it's a fight I'd definitely be interested in having again. And uh, you know, I'm going to get this fight out of the way Saturday. Um, Eddie's mentioned another fight in July, then a big one in October. So there's no reason why that can't be the Fowler rematch or or, or whatever fight uh, he's right. Um, Scott, what, what would you say in the 18 months was the biggest thing that you learned with regards to the people you have around you? What did you learn about the people around you? Um... You know, um, you've got to you've got to know who to trust, and uh, not only that, it's like uh, you know, it's some of my mates. You know, it's not old mates and stuff. It's not their fault. You know, as much as some people might think, it's like I'm the one wanting to do it, even wanting to uh, you know uh, see them all the time and stuff. And uh, and and you know, it's just I've learned that you just got to keep the right people around you and. Uh, for this job, what I'm doing, uh, there's certain people uh, that I need around me and certain people I don't, so I've just had to, uh, you know, go monk mode on it and uh, just uh, do what, what, what I need to do to, to get myself right. Was you interested, even from like a, a fan point of view, in, in boxing over the 18 months? Or, yeah. I mean, how did that work? Was you still kind of keeping on tabs on what was going on? How did that work? Yeah, well, after my fight in October, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't go in the gym for the rest of that year. And then, um, yeah, like, just as I, just as I started uh, getting back, uh, like, itchy knuckles and watching boxing and stuff, watching old fights, uh, yeah, it's when it all, like, kicked off in my life. And, uh, obviously, COVID came, so there was no, not going to be any fights for me. And... Uh, uh, 
you know, basically I was just like in the back garden, shadow boxing, doing uh, press ups a lot and like uh, whatever else. And uh, that's when I was, when I, I was dying to get back to it, but there was just, uh, it, there, was, there was nothing around, there was nothing going on. So uh, then, then I, uh, yeah, I sort of, I don't know, it's like a seasonal thing for me. I like, I sort of like dip off uh, certain parts of the year and then certain parts of the year, all I want to do is box and watch boxing, but uh, I just got to uh, keep myself in a level place and uh, just focus on the boxing and I, I'm sure I can do really well in this sport then. Well, look, because obviously it is your return, you're going to get questions like I have just asked you about kind of that 18-month period, but hopefully, you know, by July, it's kind of people aren't even referring to that and they're just yeah. talking about your last fight and your next fight and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, to, to be honest, yeah, uh, actually, you're, you're the first person to really uh, chuck them little questions on me about that, actually, and... Uh, you know, um, yeah, like you just said there, that's why I've not really wanted to talk too much. I've just wanted to get back in, uh, get a fight in. And then, uh, like you say, people can just talk about that. And uh, maybe in the future I can go into more, like, depth about, you know, things there. But I had a mental dip, you know. I could call it a mental breakdown or something. But, like, yeah, I'm in a much better place now. Yeah. Scott, can I ask you, do you mind talking about this with me because obviously you said that I was the, the first person to kind of ask certain questions about no. that period of your life but did you did you mind me asking you that? No I, I don't mind no uh, I expected it to be honest when you said come down and have a, an interview tonight I, I thought you would and uh, it's got to be spoken about a bit because you know I kind of just dipped off like that kind of and done some mad videos and stuff you know so it needs explaining anyway but um, you know I, I wonder how much to uh, how much to go into it sometimes, but yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I can touch on it more over time probably. Not a problem. I do appreciate you talking about this. Like I said, it was it's difficult to speak to you and kind of almost can't ignore the last 18 months and no, kind of exactly, just talk yeah, yeah. about the fight. Yeah. So no, yeah, and well, for people that don't know at home as well, kind of a little bit about what's been going on. Yeah, of course, yeah. But um, like when I'm uh, come here now and. Uh, uh, first time in like uh, around the matchroom team and stuff like that you know everyone's sound and saying uh, glad to see me back and uh, miss me and that which is a good feeling but um you know obviously it's obvious ev everyone know you know not wants to sort of say uh, what well, you know knows something mad went on and uh you know it's yeah the more i speak about it the more uh, can be forgotten about can it Absolutely. And, you know, around that time, like I said to you, that big build up to the fight with Fowler, I think yeah. really kind of people on the outside public really took to you, especially during fight week. And obviously you had a very good win. And I think from that point onwards, you kind of, uh, um, aside from the fans that you already had, you kind of built up yeah. uh, new fans and people were kind of really kind of taking to you how you were and how you kind of portrayed yourself. Yeah, I get a lot of support uh, all over, from all over the place and it's, that's a real good feeling and even after, you know, having a blip last year, you know, I still uh, so much uh, positive comments on social media and stuff like everyone's, you know, positive towards me, which is, I really appreciate them all and uh, same with like uh, Matchroom and Eddie Earn and they've stuck right by me as well and uh, really appreciate that and give me every chance and you know letting me uh getting me a fight or two back and uh, before they chucked me in uh which uh, in the you know in a big one and uh like i said that's uh great and i appreciate it appreciate it okay well scott listen like i said we're moving forward now weighing yeah. tomorrow yeah, yeah. this is you're used to all this stuff it's been a yeah. while but you're still yeah, used to all this stuff i sort of forgot it like yeah yes yeah, you're yeah, getting back to it you know 18 months will be the the longest i've not for for in you know uh, ten over ten years or something you know so you know I've had good sparring now and uh, I'll be ready to get the job done Saturday against the crazy Frenchie and uh, and then um, yeah move on from there then yeah okay well like I said I think I speak on a lot of on behalf of a lot of boxing fans. It's absolutely brilliant to see you back in action this week yeah. and even more so than that it's absolutely brilliant to see you it just in a better place in your life yeah yeah thanks a lot yeah yeah i appreciate that and uh, it's great good to be in a better place and back to boxing as well yeah nice one
Scott Fitzgerald, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and we'll grab a word of you next after your fight on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one. See, speak to you then.